Hello, I'm Dr. Mark Newman. I want to welcome you back. We've been talking about adrenal fatigue. Today we're going to continue with a discussion of the 11 best foods for adrenal fatigue and an adrenal fatigue diet plan. We will continue to talk about diet, exercise, stress reduction, lifestyle changes, and supplements to help you recover from your adrenal fatigue. Remember, our motto is, when you change your health, you're going to change your life. And our goal is to add years to your life and life to your years. I want to remind you in the future, we'll continue to describe specific treatments, supplements, diet, and lifestyle changes that you can use to help treat your adrenal fatigue. Okay, let's talk about those 11 best foods for adrenal fatigue. I'm always going to tell you that organic and free range is best. If your budget allows it, it's always worth the money to spend to get clean food. So let's start out. Green vegetables. Very few people are getting enough vegetables in their diet. You need them for your micronutrients and your fiber. Secondly, cruciferous vegetables. Cruciferous vegetables are going to be great to help your body detox. We all need detoxification because of the essentially the garbage that we're getting in our system from things that we breathe, we smell, we taste, we swallow, we come in contact with. Detoxification, very important. So the cruciferous vegetables, right, the ones mom tried to get you to eat in the past, those are important for you. Third, beans. Beans are going to be great for fiber, for protein. They're also going to help stabilize that blood sugar, which is so important to recover from adrenal fatigue. And then talking about that, let's talk about gluten-free whole grains and sprouted grains. Those are going to be, again, helpful to stabilize your blood sugar, for the fiber, for the micronutrients. And then another food we'd like to talk to you about, avocado. Great source of fat, great for hormones, great for keeping your blood sugar stable. So there's our first group of healthy foods that we suggest to recover from adrenal fatigue. Let's just take a break for a moment here. Even though it's not a supplement, a standalone supplement per se, eating well is going to be imperative to having good health. Now, I'm going to tell you something too, a motto of mine. Good health does not cost, it pays. It's a lot easier to stay well than to get well and your health is a marathon. Eating well, number one, most Americans will do fabulous if they will eliminate or minimize the grains and dairy in their diet. They tend to be inflammatory, they're difficult for your body to digest, assimilate, and utilize. We tell our patients, focus on healthy proteins, chicken, fish, turkey, eggs, beans, nuts. They're best if they're boiled, broiled, or grilled. Vegetables, very few Americans are eating too many vegetables. And then the third thing is fruits. We'll generally tell you that eating two to three times many vegetables as fruits is best because you've got a lot of carbohydrates that will increase your sugar. Yeah, with, the, with the fruits and we do want to keep our blood sugar really level as far as our overall health is concerned and to recover from adrenal fatigue. Also, you need to be well hydrated. A general rule is around a half ounce of water-based drinks per pound of body weight. So if you're weighing 200 pounds, you need around 100 ounces of fluid a day. That's going to help uh, cleanse and detoxify you. That's going to keep the lubrication in your joints and your musculoskeletal system up. Most people will notice they have less brain fog, less aches and pains when they're well hydrated. So those are some keys to really getting healthy and staying healthy in the long run. Okay, let's continue our list of healthy foods. Nuts and seeds. Again, you've got your fats, you've got your proteins. And as I said at the beginning, organic, farm-raised, always best. Fat fish, we're talking about our salmon, sardines, mackerel. Make sure they're wild caught, not farm raised. That's very common that most of your fish nowadays is farm raised. You do not want that. Next, organic meats. Free range, grass fed, 
your turkey, your beef, your venison, great choices. We need them for the building blocks of our body. Again, nice stable blood sugar. Legumes, we're talking about peas, soybeans, things like that. Again, you've got some proteins, you've got micronutrients that will come into play with those foods. Healthy oils, olive oil, avocado oil, coconut oil, healthy fats, great for your brain health. Remember, your brain's been taking a hit with this adrenal fatigue, it needs support. Great way to support it there with those healthy fats. How about the last thing? Fermented foods. We're talking sauerkraut, kefir, kimchi, kombucha. That will really help support and reinvigorate your immune system. We talked about the fact that the immune system, 60 to 70 percent of it is in your gut. As the immune system goes, so goes your health. So again, those are some nice foods to rebuild and support that immune system. And folks, there you go. That's our list of healthy foods and our diet tips for recovering from adrenal fatigue. Okay, let's talk about the diet plan. You've heard me say before, the vast majority of Americans will do great if they minimize their grains and dairy because our bodies do not do well with digestion, assimilation, and utilizing those foods they're also very inflammatory to our system. Remember, with adrenal fatigue or life in general, you've got a lot of stressors. There's no sense in adding more stress through the foods and so forth that you take in. Now, how about talking about the right time to eat and the frequency? Most of us need to eat when we get up. Our bodies have been through a long period of fasting. We need to get healthy, nutritious food right at breakfast to get the day going. And then ideally, if your schedule allows it, if you could graze on a small portion of food every two, three, or four hours, that way you're going to keep your blood sugar, your insulin, and your energy very level. That will really increase your recovery from adrenal fatigue. Again, the things to eat, we've mentioned this before. Most of us would be doing well if we focus on healthy proteins, chicken, fish, turkey, eggs, beans, nuts, vegetables and fruits and again two to three times as many veggies as fruits and then make sure that you're hydrated well we've told you before around a half ounce of water-based drinks per pound of body weight ideally try to get that the best way to do that is to get start early in the day if you're going to get that much water in otherwise five or six o'clock at night you're trying to get half your fluid intake in you're going to be up half the night run into the bathroom, that's not going to work well because we've talked about the fact that sleep is important to recover from adrenal fatigue. I want to remind you to hit the like and share button and send this video to family and friends that would find this information helpful. Also, in that comment section below, go ahead and list the symptoms of adrenal fatigue that you suffer from. I want to thank you again for tuning in. Make sure you subscribe to our channel to check out other great videos on adrenal fatigue and how to treat your adrenal fatigue naturally. This is Dr. Mark Newman. Thanks again for watching.